Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our fetal echocardiography ribs review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question. You have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. Click the patent ductus arteriosus. The PDA is right here in this image. What does this ultrasound show? A, aortic atresia. B, persistent left superior vena cava. C, tetralogy of flow. Or D, interrupted aortic arch. The answer is C, Tetralogy of Flow. Which is not associated with this video? A, truncus arteriosus. B, double outlet right ventricle. C, interrupted aortic arch. Or D, aortic coarctation. The answer is C, interrupted aortic arch. And this ultrasound represents severe levocardia. What is the most common cause of a fetal cardiac malposition? A, dextrocardia, B, pleural effusion, C, pericardial effusion, or D, diaphragmatic hernia. The answer is D, diaphragmatic hernia. What does it mean to have a bacteric hernia? A, right-sided diaphragmatic hernia. B, left-sided diaphragmatic hernia. C, superficial diaphragmatic hernia. Or D, inferior diaphragmatic hernia. The answer is B, left-sided diaphragmatic hernia. What is the fetal situs and presentation? A, breach and cytosolitis. B, cephalic and cytosolitis. C, breach and situs inversus. Or is it D, cephalic and situs inversus? The answer is A, breach and cytosolitis, which will not be helpful when determining the fetal situs. A, location of the pulmonary veins, B, location of the aorta, C, location of the gallbladder, or D, location of the IVC. The answer is A, location of the pulmonary veins. Click on the gallbladder. The gallbladder in this image is right here. What is the most common severe congenital abnormality? A. VSD. B, TOF, or Tetralogy of Flow, C, CHD, or D, DTGA. The answer is C, CHD. How do you measure the cardiothoracic circumference? A, 
Trace the inner edge of the thoracic cavity and outer edge of the heart at end diastole after AV valves close. B. Trace the outer edge of thoracic cavity and outer edge of heart at end diastole after AV valves close. C. Trace outer edge of thoracic cavity and inner edge of heart at end diastole after AV valves close. Or is it D. Trace outer edge of thoracic cavity and outer edge of heart at end diastole before AV valves close. The answer is B. Trace the outer edge of thoracic cavity and outer edge of heart at end diastole after AV valves close. Which artifact is minimized by using compound imaging? A. Acoustic enhancement. B. Reverberation. C. Motion artifacts. Or D. Acoustic shadowing. The answer is D, acoustic shadowing. What is the arrow pointing to? A, pericardial effusion, B, high drops, C, intrathoracic stomach, or D, cystic adenomatoid malformation? The answer is C, intrathoracic stomach. What is the first thing you do when starting a fetal echocardiogram? A. Determine fetal situs. B. Measure heart size. C. Measure ejection fraction. Or D. Determine cardiac activity. The answer is A, determine fetal situs. The presence of antegrade flow in the aortic arch with some retrograde flow in the pulmonary artery can raise suspicions of what? A, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. B, pulmonary atresia with an intact septum. C, interrupted aortic arch. Or D, transposition of the great arteries. The answer is B, pulmonary atresia with an intact septum. Which artifact will originate and propagate off the curved part of the heart? A, reverberation, B, comet tail, C, edge shadowing, or D, acoustic shadowing? The answer is C, edge shadowing. What does this ultrasound show? A. Intact IVS B. Trabecular VSD C. Inlet VSD or D. AVSD The answer is a. Intact IVS. Which artifacts raise suspicions for a VSD? A. Acoustic enhancement and aliasing. B. Dropout and color bleeding. C. Acoustic shadowing and color mirror. Or is it D. Grading worlds and range ambiguity? The answer is B. Drop out and color bleeding. While in the LV alpha plaques view, which way do you angle the probe to visualize the plaques view of the right side? A posteriorly, B anteriorly, C superiorly, or D inferiorly?
The answer is A, posteriorly. What will help determine a non-stenotic semilunar valve? A, regurgitation will be absent. B, valve will close properly in diastole. C, color Doppler aliasing. Or D, valve will disappear in systole. The answer is D, the valve will disappear in systole. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming fetal echocardiography boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardreview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking to purchase mock exams, go to my website, ultrasound board review, click enter the pass zone, scroll down until you see the fetal echocardiography mock exams. Click on that. Scroll down and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.